Hi everybody, hope you're all well. Three ingredient cake, I hear you say. Well, four actually, because the lemon is the fourth um, ingredient. No butter. I was looking for a recipe because I wanted to sort of do a vlog about how I do cost breakdown. Um, and I found this, this cake that had no butter, no baking powder, and I think uh, it's plain flour. Uh, and I thought, <sighs> Would that even work? Would we, I mean, it looked, I, I just thought I had to give it a go. So I thought I'd do a vlog on the actual making of it, uh, but the next vlog after this, or after, you know, will be will be just to do with how I work it out, the actual detail on that, um, using the the cost of the ingredients on this particular cake. But it didn't, it just doesn't, what does it have? Let me have a look quick. Um, no butter, no baking powder. It's basically three large eggs, uh, granulated sugar, uh, lemon juice, uh, but only a specific amount, just under 60 mils, because I think the lemon juice can react if it's too much, and the zest of a lemon, um, and 128 grams or one cup of plain flour. <laughs> um, that is it. Um, it did come to the grand total of £1.32, or 16p a slice if you have um, eight slices cut out, you know, uniform slices. <clears throat> and each slice should be 170 calories, just for calorific information. Um, I just thought, yeah, I've got to give this a go. The secret though, apparently, is to whisk the eggs and sugar for 10 minutes. or So that sort of like, it sort of it, it increases in size. And when you stop whisking, apparently it will deflate, which is normal. Um, so I'm going to do it. There's going to be a, a good 10 minutes of whisking. I won't obviously film all of that because that's just very boring and long, but I'll just sort of show it in little sort of st st stages. So it will only be a couple of minutes, 10 minutes squished down to a few, not even a few, you know, um, yeah. <laughs> so let's give this a go. It could be a complete disaster. Let up. Right, come on, let's go and have a look at the ingredients. So as I said before, um, there's the ingredients. You can even omit the lemon and just have a basically three ingredient cake. Flour, eggs and sugar. I mean, that's, I've never made cake without butter or marge. So, and funnily enough, I'm actually quite low on that. <laughs> so this suits me really perfectly. So yeah, let, I'm just going to crack on and start whisking because um, that's the, f the first thing to do. So I'm going to speed that up because otherwise we'll be here forever. See you in a bit. Wow. So um, apparently it will deflate, although I'm not seeing that happen, but it probably will. Uh, it's got to be a very pale yellow. I mean, that's very pale. Um, this is sort of, so that you need to kind of know uh, what's normal. I'm, I'm liking that. That's uh, I tell you what, my arm is vibrating. I'm going to put a quarter, sort of add a little bit of flour each time, folding it in nice and gently to try and retain as much of these bubbles as we can, um, but sifted. Yeah, plain flour. <laughs> um, and then we'll add the lemon juice. Yeah, let's crack on and start sifting the flour nice and gently into this mixture. Well, I've just been letting it preheat for five minutes. 45 minutes, 160 on bake. Um, it's actually 180, um, or 300, hold on, oh, memory, hold up. Just get these in and I'll just go through the times and temperatures. Right, times and temperatures, hold on. So, 
Uh, in the oven, just in case you don't have an air fryer, because you never know. <laughs> it's um, 30 to 35 minutes at 180 um, or centigrade or 350 Fahrenheit. 30 to 35 minutes, you know. Um, obviously, testing your cake with a toothpick. Or, um, what's the temperature? Oh, I'll put it up here, whatever the temperature has to be for it to, set, for it to be cooked. Because it's 180 in the in the oven, I'm thinking, and so I am winging it because this wasn't an air fryer recipe. Um, 160 uh, for 30 to 40 minutes. I don't know yet. So yes, in 30 minutes, I'm going to test it. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I've got absolutely no idea. Never not used butter before, so it's going to be really interesting. Right, I'm off for a coffee. I'll see you when this is done, or or at least when I come and check. <laughs> Uh, yeah, see you in 30 minutes, or, or one second, come on. <laughs> see you then, bye. Right, 38 minutes have passed, I'm gonna temperature check the cake. So the cake, if it's cooked, should be 98 centigrade or 210 Fahrenheit. Let's uh, check. Come and have a look. I don't know why I'm whispering. Oh. Wow. that one. Why am I whispering? Ooh, just check the next one. So that's, what's the timings? I might get the timings wrong. I think that's 30 minutes, isn't it? Ooh, look at that. <laughs> that's quite a brown top. Ooh, that needs a little bit longer, that one. Right, um, let's take out this one. The drawers aren't quite as oh mind you um i think there was actually less in this one than the other one slightly more cake so i'm just gonna let that carry on doesn't matter if the other drawer is fine uh, apparently you've got to let these cakes really cool before you like for hours uh, i think that's something to do with its fragile top yeah we'll see see you in a bit Okay, these are thoroughly cooled down. I mean, it's interesting how they look. Um, that's the one that I just was really struggled to get to temperature, 98 centigrade. Um, yeah, I mean, it, is it me or do they look a little bit like a marble cake? I mean, it does have that look to me, especially that one. Um, right. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna be, putting ice and sugar on top of this and then we're going to cut them in half just to see what the middle's like um yeah and then i'll have a taste test see what they taste like without i'm really curious i've never made a cake without butter that or, or baking powder uh, um is it normally still phrasing flour i mean i mean it's plain flour <laughs> right yeah let's get the ice and sugar on <laughs> well, well, I mean, they look like cake, and ice and sugar does make everything look so much better. Yeah. <laughs> Thumbnail. Um, yeah, let's let's cut these open and just see what the middle's like. And apparently, um, you have to be really careful uh, when you do cut these open because the it should it will be really fragile. It's very cr uh, not crusty, crunchy. What is it? Crackly, even crackly actually is what the recipe said. Um, yeah, right, let's get these open. like a cake I mean yeah it's 
so you can you can see the it's kind of really has formed um, quite a significant crust mm. hold up let's get you back in position we'll see what it tastes like oh I've got a bit of lemon there that was nice it's very um it's a different it's a different type of texture a bit more spongy Oh, the, the lemons that lemon is worth doing I, I don't know I think I wouldn't have liked it so much without the lemon that is that is that is um, it's difficult I'm trying to work out that the, the texture is a little bit odd it's not quite like a cake it's got like a cake but not like a cake um, it will get eaten there's teenage boys in the house they'll they'll, they'll love it um, yeah, um, I'm really glad I did that. I am really glad I did that because it's it's just really interesting to try something new. Um, let's let's open the second one. Because that took a lot longer as well. I think it's the difference between the two drawers in the in the ninja. Um, wow, look at the crust. Look at the um yeah you hear that whoop just putting ice and sugar everywhere it is you know it is it's it's really nice but it's not oh, like a real cake you really do miss the butter the butter does something um but it is it is like it is it's there it's just sort of slightly different Right, well, <laughs> I'll better say goodbye uh, on that note because, um, yeah, with a cup of tea, this will go down like a real deliciousness. And the lemon zest and lemon juice, it, oh, I, would, I wouldn't even have that as optional. I, I would say it really does need it because it, it, it gives it a nice little flavour. Um, yeah, because you are missing the butter flavour, you know, that, that, that richness that you get with it. It's very light. But when you eat it, it's got this kind of slightly chewy texture. But not in a terrible way, you know. Well, anyway, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Um, take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.